Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and location you are listening to our UAG Grand Disbursement Update. This is a chat show and this chat show is a commentary and analysis of what has been going on in the Grand community. You know everywhere I've been silent. So this is divided into two segments. This is part one and uh, part two. Part two, check up, up in the flashcard above or go to the description below. You will see the link to the part two. So guys, just listen. Listen and drop your comment in the description. We pray that this was meant to ensue this month. Things are warming up. Things are warming up. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you're officially welcome to the chat show, especially called up. Uh, the chat show is especially called up by the legendary one, Ajayi Adego K. He's a comrade. He has been fighting for the sanity of the Grants community, and he has been doing a good job. And it's part of the press, the World Press Conference team. So we're not taking it lightly. While the electrifying hitman is also working behind the scene to give the press conference a fabulous show. Try to get the international community, everybody on block, you know, on deck to be part of the show. We have to do the show, you know, uh, to the top class level, international level. I have to even watch a video of the press conference of the u.s defense chief you know press conference today is the live going on you know in the united states so that is the format we're looking at press you know the press will be bumping we got we need to invite tv stations radio stations the hall will be packed up then there'll be microphones you know that is why the press conference needs so much money because it's is you know is gigantic the way the english put it you know it's fabulous it's colossal it's not something that you just look for you know 500k or 1 million you say you want to set up a you know press world uh, world conference like that no it doesn't make sense we don't need to do something whack because we are professionals in our different fields we have to do something world class so that is it i got mm, my man the legendary Reverend Wagachuku is uh, the reason behind the show today. And uh, the legendary Ajaya Degoke was not satisfied with the legendary admin Ellis. You know, comments about Reverend Wagachuku is like he has a lot of things to say. So I want to officially welcome. Uh, I think I need to put Reverend, the legendary one, Reverend Wagachuku, still need to be on the hot seat today. And uh, the main. You know, man on the hot seats, the real person for this show is the legendary Ajayi Adegoke. The legendary Ajayi Adegoke, you're welcome to the hot seat, to the chat show, sir. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Michael. Thank you for having me on your program. You are doing fantastically well, sir. In Thank fact, you very much, sir. I must commend you, sir. Your time, your energy. The magnetic you are putting to play to make uh, information spread, we sincerely appreciate it. Thank you very much. Sir. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, the legendary. Uh, you heard two versions of my chat show, one with uh, the legendary admin Ellis and one with the legendary, the grandfather in the grand's community. Reverend Wagachuku. What is your take on the the comments from Admin Ellis? What are your dissatisfactions right. about him? Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Michael. Uh, I I sincerely want to say this to Nigerian, especially to Grand Community. I am not trying to take side. I'm not trying to be a selective sinner by actually supporting one and scooping the other. No, that's not my intention. But I have this kind of person that wants to call a spade a spade. I don't know if you get what I'm saying, Mr. Michael. Yes, sir. Yes, now, sir. if you have to look at critically, the idea of the international community is an organized criminal, an organized crime. Let me tell you, I, I, I want, uh, before I go directly to the question, I was privileged to speak with Ayo Gideon 
one of the members of the uh, so-called international communities and he made a lot of revelation to me it was it was from there i got to know that that was to care before that time as not been as actually no uh, one Kevin that has been a member of his church before that time. I am not trying to support the friend that Atuku, but the friend that Atuku is just a victim of himself. The Bible said, pray and be watchful. Fortunately, the referring to Achuku, I, I don't want to say he's not praying, but he's not watchful. Because we did not calculate simultaneously the antecedent of how Kevin Cordy, how the young international community came to existence. Believe me, sir. Can you hear me? Sir, go on. Sir, we can hear you, sir. Go on. Mr. Legendary Ajaya Begoke, we can hear you. Go on, sir. All right. It's like we have a technical problem. Or maybe uh, somebody had to buzz his phones up, his phone up. You know, all those things happen like that. You know, when you have a phone call, then the whole network will go off, depending on the kind of, you know, environment you find yourself. But uh, Legendary Ajaya Dogoke would like you to come back to the chat show. Uh, before that, uh, let me welcome uh, the legendary Reverend Wagachuku. On the hot seat, sir. You're welcome, sir. Reverend. Reverend. Yeah, I am a Michael. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, sir. You heard uh, Admin Ellis' version of uh, his response to my chat show with you. What is your take on what he said? He said, uh, you know, uh, you totally lied and uh, you didn't answer my questions. Um, the question I hit you up with, uh, you know, you danced around it. The one I asked you about you submitting uh, uh, an NGO name. So the ones he was compiling for Apostle Ken. What is your take on that, sir? Um, I am a Michael. I will ask you. Did I answer that question in that my my conversation with you or not, Mr. Michael? I am back. If I'm allowed to continue my talking. All right. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Okay. Uh, let me uh, answer. Uh, okay. Uh, legendary uh, Reverend Wagachuku. Let's pause a little, a little bit for Ajayi, sir. All right. Ajayi, go on, sir. All right. So, like I was saying, I. Spoke comprehensively with Ajayi Gideon. It was then he made me realize the fact that he himself was full by Apostle Ken. That the money, the said money they sent to him, did not even use 24 hours in the return. And as time to be quoted, I can defend this statement. Let Ayo Gideon come out and say he did not tell me that. Now let's now look at it. Uh, Admin Ellis was never a part was never part of international communities. Admin Ellis is not a hello. I'm sorry, it's like we have a problem can with you your phone, me? sir. Yeah, we can hear you, sir. Go on. So Admin Ellis is not. It's not part of the grand uh, under. It's not part of the international communities. How did he know that it was twenty-four million naira? 
that girl to K. Now let's not assume that that Reverend Balatuku made hundred million naira from that money from the four international communities, and he transferred twenty four million naira to Apostle Chen. Where is the document today? Why are we crucifying one person and we are using our hand to rob the head of the other person? If A is a criminal, then B is a criminal. The same admin Ellis now went back to Apostle Ken. His ideology, his sense of reasoning did not come to him that he should go back to Apostle Ken and ask Apostle Ken, where is the document of this so called international community? But because he was looking for where he wanted to run on that, he kept silence. You expose A and you are covering B. No, who does that? I wish he can come online and come and defend a lot of questions that I want to ask him. As far as one community is concerned, the international community is a scam. Reverend Barachuku play a vital role in all of this. Even though he has come to apologize, the Nigerian and Grand community are not convinced. Apostle Ken, who called himself a Grand Handler and country director, he is the one who claimed he has the name in the document. And that document was the reason why the Avengers came out to say they should help him and give him money so that they would collect money. In today, Apostle Ken did not talk about that international community. Even that the 24 million they are talking about, he has not come out to admit that truly they gave him this money. He has not come up. Maybe the money is not even up to 24 million. We don't even know. So who is me? At me at least. Is it the spokesperson of UAAG or the spokesperson of Apple to Kent to come up and say it's only 24 million that, that was given to Apple to Kent? Now, where is the result of that 24 million? And why are they not discussing that? Where is the do- but the NGOs and the stakeholders who contributed that money deserve to see the document. Where is the document? Somebody sits down somewhere and claim because we are they, they are I, I, I don't I don't want to use the derogatory word and if I say trash because he thinks he can speak with me. Like we are all novice. But for the fact that I, 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 I remember who admitted his mistake and apologized to Nigeria. What about the crime Apostle Ken has committed? He scammed the whole Nigeria. And the worst, the worst of this is that the is a beneficiary from this scam money. Which, who employed at the Ellis in Abuja? They went to Lodge in Abuja. They were using Nigerian money to lodge for one hotel to another. They were sending Nigerian money to their family. And yet they did not report. And yes, he had the audacity to come out and say somebody only paid 24 million dollar. See, yes, sir. It is just a case of a a, a, a taco holding a kettle black. If he, he see, I expect that man to go and bury himself in shame. Just the way the vendor who went on Nazar and went sober for some time in shame, at the earliest opposed to Ken to bury just head in shame. Don't come out of vomiting no bush. He said he's part of his school in Abuja, in one of the officials. Where is his boss meant to be? Is it that people no longer have to? And their children and their families are watching them, disgracing themselves on social media. Did they even know the meaning of participants? That whatever goes around comes around. So because the man cannot avoid to give him the money they scam the whole Nigeria. He now came out to, to actually bite the food that food in, uh, which means they are part of this camp. Uh, he himself is part of this camp for him to have come out to give us the accurate account or how much money that was given or how much money that was given, which is part of the open process. Mr. Michael, I wish I listened to this and you host me and him. To come and defend a lot of questions. I want to ask him, and Nigeria want to ask him. 
But if not, let him shut up and go and settle whatever you have with Reverend Chipu in their private place. No commit to black male or in short of Chipu because he's looking for popularity. They are all scammers. So if he says that Vengbaraku is a scammer, he himself is a scammer. Apostle Ken is the greatest scammer. That's all I have to say. All right, I was just laughing at the background. Anyways, straight up, no ice. You just felt that from the legendary Ajayi Adegoke. He's a comrade, he's a fighter. He has the spirit of the comrade, spirit of comrade in his body, in his veins, blood system flowing. You can feel that. Anyways, let me officially welcome Prince from Worry. He doesn't like uh, the name a legend or legendary because he has not achieved anything the press conference hasn't come to to reality all right mr prince from warrior you're welcome to the hot seat chat show sir can you say hi to us sir mr mike good evening sir thank you very much good evening sir good evening ma. good evening everybody all right this is the chat show this is the emergency chat show call up by the legendary ajay adego k an emergency one based on the reaction he needs to respond which he has done already uh, to the legendary admin Ellis we have to straighten things up so uh, let me quickly go back to Reverend Wagachuga he hits me back with a question uh, that say uh, didn't he answer the question he actually answered the question but uh, the way uh, admin Ellis wanted it was not the way he answered it because he asked he answered it let me put it this way answer it uh, diplomatically by saying that he was the one that you know gave you know the assignment of compiling ngos to admin ellis which was quite different from the story admin ellis told us you know the whole grants community that he uh apostle ken told him to fizzle out duplications of names so that was the way you know the legendary reverend wagner you could answer it intelligently and diplomatically i hope i'm right sir that you actually you know told him to do that that uh, apostle ken never knew <coughs> who they call her uh, uh, admin ellis in the picture you introduce him because he happens to be your boy it was your boy so you introduce him officially and gave him the job to do and he used your laptop to do those jobs am i right sir Legendary. okay i am a michael oh, excuse me yeah um i am i want to i want to promise you that this should be the the last time i have to have any word or talk about in the chat show about admin ellis and i want to plead with all my friends that said i should stop having anything to do with him or talking about him uh i'm not the one that uh, asked you about this chat show i just saw it i was shocked i decided to just join not that i'm part of it but i know you might ask me question let me just clear some certain things i had a response he sent to you you sent to me saying that i didn't answer the question i answered the question by saying yes i told him that and he said that which he said but i, I later told you that it was me let us can come and stand and say he was the one that called admin ellis and said admin ellis, come and take this thing and do for me see let me tell you it's only god who will judge everything when nobody can talk for you when i came to to abuja the first time i called admin ellis he came we stayed in a hotel in in um what are this place that time we stayed there from there aposken will call me i will go and meet aposken because i saw in a writer somebody that said that minelis knows aposken before then i don't care whether he knows him or not but for introduction bringing him together which he appealed to me because i was asking myself what type of lies did i lie am i not the one did he not ask me to please introduce him to Apostle so that he will be used to that he is good in this computer something and creating of webs and i don't know the type of fly i'm lying there I'm, maybe he has known him i don't care but who brought them together who brought them together 
he begged me will he say i'm lying that he didn't beg me to introduce him to apostle apostle ken so i i'm i was just asking myself what type of lie have i lied let him come and tell me the type of lie is it not that he he appealed to me to introduce him to apostle ken so that he will be used which i did all the meeting i have with apostle ken did apostle ken call him for one day it was after i have introduced him to apostle ken when he started all this nonsense was when he had the meeting with apostle ken before then he don't have any meeting with apostle ken before then it was me if i was going i would call him we will go together anywhere i go i will call him we will go together apostle ken is still alive and i said it after this incident apostle ken told me that i was the cause that he, he, that he himself asked me if I trust him. That time, I'm not talking about today. I'm not talking about today. As of today, I don't talk with Apostle Ken for now. But that time, Apostle, that time this thing happened, he was blaming me that I was the one that brought him. So what type of lie am I lying there? Yeah, I'm just asking myself, what type of lie am I lying? Is he not, did he not beg me to, to introduce him to Apostle Ken? Why he say he knows him? Go and ask Apostle Ken. Is he? Had Apostle Ken called him for a meeting before that time? If not after, he felt he wanted to betray me. Again, uh, he himself was aware of international community. But he's not in the caucus. We will have meeting in the night. I put it in the speaker when he is there. Because we, we use the same, the same hotel. Am I lying that he didn't hear their voice or he had not seen where we are having our meeting? What type of lie am I lying against that boy? It's only God that will judge all these things. It's only God that will judge all these things. Calling me a liar. And I've been asking myself, what type of, in all that I said, am I lying? Let him tell me that I'm lying now and let it be. Michael, let me tell you, there is no need of talking. Everything about me and that boy will surely end somewhere. Let us let us just leave about all these sayings we are saying. Time shall come, the action will take place. Because I know I have issue with Apostle Ken. And this issue, I didn't betray Apostle Ken. Everybody knows in the Grand Community. I just came to speak out when I see that nobody is there for me again. And my account was blocked. Nobody is there for me again. That was when I decided to start speaking out. So I will now know what to do. That was how I come to talk about him or what he did to me. I didn't even say to Grand Community, but to me in person. You see? So... I, God, I have a case, I have a case with him because of that, what transpired. I'm, and I've been hearing about this international community that after I gave him that money, that uh, they, they refund that money to him. But he didn't give me the money I gave to him. That thing is just burning my So I would like to know the truth. Is, am I lying to admin Moses, that, admin Ellis, that I didn't give a post that? Or is he the one lying that he said I gave him, that I gave a post only to four million? In the court, Apostle Ken will prove to me with the statement of account if it's only 24 million I gave to him before and after. Before and after. And who even employ him to come and say that thing? That admin, who him? I want to know if, it's, if it is Apostle Ken that told him, oh yeah, come and broadcast and give account. Giving account what something that is, he was not the one that collected. Something that does not concern him. Why will he say it? If not because he wants to look for popularity so that he so people were telling me that this was how he betrayed Kingsley that nobody was with him that he will not do the same thing go and ask Apostle Ken there was a time thank God that KBB I don't see him as somebody that can lie KBB is still alive when I brought them together with Kendra with G Admin Gali or I brought them together that we all will not be friends. Remember, I've not seen them all for once. It's only KBB that I saw among those people. I don't know if I've seen the others before. We were working in good harmony. Until when time came, if we want, if we say anything, we shouldn't say out. Somebody will go and say it out. That was when the whole thing started. And uh, when I brought up, I brought up Oskin to their midst. When I called up Oskin to talk, when I called up Oskin to talk, up Oskin told me do i know these people because he don't want to involve himself in calling him in a meeting because he don't know who is who because they were my friend i see told apostle no problem that these people cannot they, they won't do anything the same people came up after they have messed up i locked that place they now went and called apostle they started being friends behaving as if they are the one that introduced themselves first to apostle ken you see apostle ken is still alive 
This was the way I introduced uh, um, Admineris to Apostle Ken. Now he's trying to prove to me that he had known Apostle Ken before. You know Apostle Ken and you are asking me to please help you solicit so that you will be used. Why he was used in the, in the screening was because of what he has committed. But I bet all of them, they don't know who Apostle Ken is. I did not know him before until, until I have things to do with him. Let us wait and see what will happen in future. He knows how to just use you the way you are at that time and go his way. That is that's the simple truth. So let him not just feel that Apostle Ken was happy. That is why he brought him. No! No! He forced himself by going to castigate me so that he would take over. Then I was going to pick it like that. I don't know. Being, being a member of screening committee is nothing at all. It's not among the, 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 the committee of the U.S. He's not there. So that is just like fitting rack that was used. Those people that, that were used, what was their benefit? See, Ayama, I don't want to say anything again about Adminelis. But if I am lying, say I'm lying. Let God judge it. When we will meet somewhere, when we will meet somewhere, we are going to know who is lying against each other. There is no need. So today will be the last day that I'm talking about Admin Ellis. Let it just be my friends, my people have told me, begged me to stop talking about Admin Ellis. And I am sorry saying this thing again about him. What I said is, we must say it somewhere. Unless God said, this heaven and earth will just pass away. That will no more be on earth. But if we remain on earth, after everything, he must because immediately Apostle Ken is involved, he will be involved because he said that thing on behalf of Apostle Ken. Because Apostle Ken did not come to refute it, so I don't know if it's a plan D between both of them. So they must be involved. Let them get ready. Any type of crook, any type of lie, any type of sand they will put together, let them just make it available because I must, by the grace of God, see to it. That is only what I want to tell you. So please. Don't ask me about this boy again. Let him just go his way. Let me go my way. He's ranting. I should continue. I should talk about. Oh God. He will later tell me how he managed to know that it was only that in my life I've not made 500,000 before. It was because of a um, uh, grant. I made it. Let him go and ask. One mem member of our grand project group knows my place, knows my church, where I bought and built. Whether that project is a project of one million naira, since they know that person knows me, knows my place, and this boy was talking. This boy was talking that in my family, and we are arrested, this and that. This, he know my family, and he's telling me he didn't talk about my personal life. Let's just leave it. We are going to see to it. Ayama, please just leave this thing. I, 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 I'm no longer interested until at a particular time. Because this talking, talking, talking has not put money in our uh, uh, in our pocket. I don't have the need of it now. Thank you and God bless you. All right, straight up, no ice. You just felt that from the eloquent speaker, the comrade in the Grand community, the legendary Reverend Wagachiko. Please. I want to solicit for a reconciliation, please. We don't need to continue this war game. The beef war game between you and uh, Admin Ellis needs to stop. And uh, we have to amend, you know, build back the bridges that have been collapsed. Uh, sir, please, I want to apologize for everything. And uh, we need to call for reconciliation, sir. We have to stop this. Uh, you are my friend. Admin Ellis is also my friend. No matter what has uh, happened in the past, we just have to put it behind and move forward and uh in the whole beef anyways <clears throat> this is still the chat show powered by hits me foundation and uh, me myself and my the electrifying hits man is the pilot of the show you're today today's throwback thursday 4th of april 2024 i got my man the man the new kid on the block prince of worry on the hot seat you're welcome officially sir once again mr prince Hello, Mr. Prince. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, all right. So, I want to hit you with this question. Uh, what is your take on the your beef, the beef uh, going on between uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the chief and uh, the other guy, uh, the chief beef that is going on in the grants community, sir? Thank you very much, sir. 
Thank you for that um, question. Well, I just joined your chapter. I never knew you were going to put me on hot seat, but I'm ready for any hot seat as long as my hands are clean. If only one that is hotter than this, I'm ready for it. You understand? So, you said something, my beef between I and um, Chief Akogo. I don't have beef with Akogo. I only have beef with his attitude and character. He is not straightforward. The server that is not straightforward, I have issues with them. When Akogo came to Grand Community, he was someone that everybody respects so much. He was so truthful. This was the same man that came out and said we should not go for verification because of what he was saying. And there is something he always say that I am, and I am in the picture. So for you to be in the picture and you start behaving funny, it, it's called for explanation. I don't have issues with uh, Akogo. All I want is that he should come out and tell Nigerians the truth because he has always said that he is in the picture. That is just my challenge with him. He should stop saying something he is not sure of. And I believe whatever that man have said, because of his attitude of late, whatever he have said, is he, he said it intentionally because he has been bought over. That is it. They are using him to come and calm Grant's community. If I were him, I will, for the now, I would just keep mute. Because to me, I don't know if other persons to me, he has lost his respect to me. I can't respect him anymore because the integrity he used to have, he has them no more. Someone cannot come and tell you, I, will, I am fighting for the masses and you are killing the masses. You can just imagine. If you see someone that is fighting for the, sorry for using the word masses, if you see someone that is fighting for the Nigeria subscribers in Grant community, you will know. You don't need Oracle to tell you. You will know. That is the reason I always say something that nobody's fighting for anybody because these names have been abused. They've abused the name fighter. They've abused the name apostle, prophet, bishop, and so on and so forth. They've abused the name. That is just the basic truth. If anybody that is answering prayers in Grand Community comes out to start misbehaving, I will change my name instantly. I will change my name because I don't want to associate with any of those names anymore. The thing is so annoying. That is just what I have to say. I don't have facing up beef with him. I don't. But he should stop deceiving Nigeria. He should come out and apologize. He should come out and tell Nigeria masses the truth because he knows the truth and whosoever that knows the truth that refuse to say is an accomplice and an accomplice with who committed the crime they are all criminals they are all uh, is the same when you go to court it's the same thing someone that attempted murder and a murderer is the same years you spend in prison so an accomplice with the one that committed the crime that scammed the nigeria subscribers they are all scammers so that's what I have to say, sir. Thank you very much. All right. That was Prince, the new kid on the block, on the hot seat. He just dissected the question. Anyways, I want to tell the grant community that I've invited. You know, I have to put a phone call to uh, Chief Akogo th uh, twice yesterday. That was two days ago, too. He had to cut it twice, and he never responded. And I chatted him up on WhatsApp. He never responded. So everybody that was talking to me, that I've been talking to me, or to put him on the hot seat, I've tried my best possible.